just how are things progressing with your shoulder in, in terms of being able to throw the ball? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, I think I'm, I'm getting really close. Uh, right Today, I actually have a long toss day and throw to bases. So, uh, yeah, I think the progressions are going really well. Um, you know, no issues right now. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, getting getting into game action today, uh, is there anything you're, you're clearly focused on at the plate? Uh, just do you have any goals that you're really trying to achieve this spring uh, you know, ahead of the season? Uh, I'd say early, just uh, kind of getting into the groove of things again, getting the timing down, uh, just seeing where my swing's at, uh, and just kind of adjusting from there. And then kind of as this spring training continues, just keep getting at bats and really, really focus on the timing, pitch selection, and little things like that. And and uh, But, yeah, just kind of using it to get ready for the season. Uh, no, I just got to make sure shoulder's good, which, you know, it will be, um, and just kind of get back into playing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Other questions? Raise your hand. Let's go, guys. Questions? Uh, Stephen Hawkins, AP. Hey, David. Just um, kind of as you've been in camp a little bit, what do you kind of see as your role with this team? And, you know, obviously a new team kind of coming into a new place and a team is kind of rebuilding. Where do you see your role in all that? I'm really just trying to come in and, and play and help the team win, however that is. Uh, getting at bats, um, establishing myself again. Just I uh, know I'm a good player and, you know, just got to show that I can do that again. So uh, really just trying to, you know, it's a very young team and, you know, it's kind of weird being one of the, the older position players on the team, I guess you could say. But that's, that's definitely weird because I'm not used to that. But just trying to help guys uh, however I can, um, whether that's being vocal or leading by example or just, you know, going out there and trying to just play hard and show, show how the game's kind of played. In your conversations with Woody or Chris Young or, or JD or any of them, what, what it kind of gets your sense of, of where this team is and, and what this team's trying to do just from your observation of it? Uh, I definitely think, you know, we're, we're trying to win. You know, at the end of the day, we're, we're out there trying to win. We don't play the game to lose, but, you know, it is a young team and we're trying to, trying to, guys are trying to establish themselves in the big leagues. And, you know, I'm also trying to do that too, just showing that I, I'm still the same player that I was before my injury. Um, so I think it's, if we're going to be competitive. We're going to compete to the last out. And that's that's kind of what we've talked about. I'm big and anyone can beat anyone on any given day. So that's why you play the game. You know, it doesn't, on paper, you know, other teams might match up better or something. But at the end of the day, you got to you gotta play and, and compete. All right, Dave. Hey, look forward to the day when we can all meet more than just Zoom calls. Yeah, so. definitely. Hopefully soon. Okay, hey, we'll go to Jeff Wilson of the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Hey, David. Um, back when you signed, um, you were asked about uh, the non-tender, and you gave a very short answer, like you didn't want to get into it. Have you have you had time to sort that one out? And then, uh, how much has it motivated you? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I've thought about it. it. It was definitely a surprise, but at the end of the day, I'm excited for this new opportunity. Um, and yeah, I think any time a team kind of gives up on you like that, it, it adds a little more motivation and uh, kind of more fuel to the fire. But you know, I, like I have no hard feelings or anything like that. I'm I'm excited to be here, excited for this new uh, chapter. So. Okay, and just refresh my memory. You you wife is from the Houston area? Yeah, she's uh she lives she's from League City, Texas. It's a little bit outside of Houston. Okay. Right. So you, that's where so this has worked out. I mean, a, a, yeah. a family not too far away. That's all you guys got going on. Perfect. Yeah, it, it worked out really well. Um, you know, especially having having a newborn girl, baby girl, um, having, you know, my wife's family close to home is definitely going to help. And then also it's a quick flight for my parents who live in Birmingham. So it, it, that definitely helps out a lot. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll go to Jared Sandler, Texas Rangers Radio. Hey, David. Uh, I had two questions for you. One, I know you've played all three outfield spots a decent amount. It, is it all the same to you? Do you feel more comfortable in one spot than the other two or – uh, I, I guess, what are your thoughts on the, the three three different spots? Uh, I feel comfortable at all three. Um, you know, I think right field's pretty locked down, so I don't think I'll have to worry about being there at all. 
Um, and then we have a good center fielder, and I know he, you know, I've seen the way he works and how how good he is defensively out there. So you know, I'm very comfortable in left. I'm comfortable in center. So kind of wherever they need me, I'll I'll play and and you know work hard at it. Yeah, and then totally unrelated to that, in Colorado you played with some really good hitters. Uh, I, I'm just curious, did you take anything away from any of those guys, Arenado, Story, or, or any of the other guys you got to play with while you were there? Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot from those guys. Um, it was it was definitely nice to be kind of sandwiched in between those hitters. Definitely gave me a lot of a lot of pitches to hit. So I I enjoyed hitting in that lineup with you know those really really good players. Could learn a lot from Charlie and and Nolan and Story. Just kind of how they went about their business, how they prepared every day, and uh, got their bodies ready to play. So, uh, but I I still talk to them all the time. Talk to them about hitting and. Uh, you know, Trevor's one of my really good friends, and you know, I, I keep up with Nolan as well. So, uh, um, yeah, I've, I've learned a lot from from all those guys. Awesome, thanks, David. Thank you. We'll go to Emily Jones, Rangers Television, Maven. Thanks for the introduction, John. David, nice to meet you, and congratulations Thank you. on the uh, on the, the new arrival. Is your family there with you, or did they stay back? Uh, so my wife's parents came out kind of right after she was born, kind of helped out, and then they left, and my parents came in town. So they're actually leaving today, um, and then it's it's me and my wife, kind of kind of doing it by ourselves now. <laughs> <laughs> Riding solo. Yeah. Um, what's been the biggest adjust sleep wise? I'm assuming that's the biggest adjustment with a newborn. I mean, yeah, at least it was for me. <laughs> knock on wood, she's sleeping really good and sleeping through the night right now. I don't want to jinx it, uh, but sh you know we're we're sleeping really well. My wife's doing an amazing job. She's so she's a champ at it, everything. So um, it's been it's been easier on me for sure. Well, enjoy that. Um, I wanted to ask just about the the dynamics of the clubhouse and when you know the team has been pretty open about the fact that it is in a bit of a rebuild phase and mode. So when you're coming into a team you know that is in that kind of mindset does it do you kind of take that you know personally as a as a, as a mission of okay let's let's get this thing going and, and build a foundation that that will hopefully last yeah I think I mean like I said it's a very young team especially on the position player side so I think we can learn a lot I think we can help each other and just kind of Seeing how all these guys work, they're definitely hungry and they want to. They want to get after. And they want to show everyone, you know, how good they can be. And you know, like you said, you come together as a team, play hard. Anything can happen. You know, um, it could be considered a rebuild, but I expect us to go out, and compete, and, and play to the last out and win some ball games. And then one more thing: is it also easier to come into a situation where there is such an influx of, of new guys to where there's not this you know, solid core of guys that kind of already had their thing established. Is that a little bit easier as far as the transition is concerned? Well, I don't know because I haven't, you know, I hadn't done it uh, before that. But I, I definitely think we have a lot of new players and a lot of new faces. So it's, it has made it pretty easy to come in get to know everyone. And, and it's, a, it's a great clubhouse. Guys are, guys are really nice. They're, they're hungry and they, they want to learn. They want to win. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll go to Alex, Alex Plink. Hey David, so you got a small taste of the outfield at Globe Life Field uh, on opening weekend. Uh, what can you say about the just how it plays? Um, I know you used to kind of used to playing in Arizona's turf, but just kind of how the ball plays. I thought it was good. Uh, I didn't have any complaints. I was I was excited playing there. So you know, once once I got non tendered and Texas reached out, and was interested. This was my my top spot. I love I love the stadium. Um, I th I love that you know a dome, so you know weather's never gonna play a factor. Um, but playing the outfield, I thought it was I thought it was good. You know, I didn't I didn't have any issues, but you know it was only what five games out there, so because counting the exhibition, so um, but nothing really stood out that was bad for me. Thanks, David. Thank you. We'll go to Levi Weaver, Athletic DFW. Hey, David. Um, <clears throat> we talked to you last time. We talked a little bit about hitting a course field. And, you know, I think a, a lot of times the narrative is when somebody leaves Coors Field, they're going to have a drop off in stats. But you were talking about how the, the ball moves differently there. And so the, the breaking pitches broke more on the road. Is there on some level maybe a, a, an optimistic twist to this that you're that they're basically you're going to be seeing breaking pitches move the same everywhere you go now as opposed to it being different at Coors Field? Do you think that there's 
uh, I don't know, maybe so it offsets some of that uh, the Coors splits. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited that I don't have to go through that anymore because it's kind of when you're on the when you're playing at home for a long time and then you go on the road, it's you know you're like, all right, I got to get off the fast, I got to get off the machine, see some spin. Like you're you're really a lot like those first three games are always pretty hard on the road. So I'm excited that the adjustment shouldn't be as difficult, I would say, playing on the road as it has been in the past. Like, you know, you, you're always aware when you're going on the road in Colorado because it's like, all right, this, this ball's about to move a lot different. You know, uh-huh. you, you swing at stuff and, you know, it hangs up in Denver and you swing and it's behind your back foot and you're like, wait a minute, this is in the dirt. So it, it's, just, it's definitely different. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. Go to Evan Grant, Dallas Morning News. Please unmute yourself, Mr. Grant. I got too fast for myself. David, I, I think I asked you this um, when you signed, but I, I wanted to take a different version of it. Um, in, in talking with Joey uh, and a couple other guys, you know, they, they talked about some of the issues with the lack of access to a video room, and, and that's going to be a continuing issue that, that guys are going to have to deal with this year. Um, have you come up with any thought? I, I want to go back and make sure that I understood. Did you feel like that in, in any way Im, impeded your ability to kind of get on track? And, and if so, have you come up with any kind of workarounds for what you want to do this year? I mean, I, th- I think it definitely made it a little more difficult as for hitters. You know, you can't go back and look, hey, where was that pitch? How are they throwing me? What my timing looked like? Uh, little things like that that I've checked out in the past. and. You know, I'm a guy that I love. I do love video. I watch video a lot. And um, even in, you know, I like getting my swing video to MVP, just kind of check in, make sure. But I think this off season, I really tried not to rely as much on video for my swing and just kind of relied on more like feel what I was what I was feeling up there. So I think that could definitely help. But I've heard something we could use iPad. They'll have like game access from iPads that maybe you could still watch, but I, I use it a lot just to see how my timing looked and then where the, you know, where the pitcher strikes that I was swinging at and things like that. Or like, I looked, or also like, you know, if I thought they were coming in or something, but they were really trying to go away, just accidentally threw it inside, then okay, I don't have to worry about the inside pitch. Little things like that kind of used it, but yeah, I think I just really try. I didn't use as much video this off season as in the past. You made a conscious effort to say, okay, let's Let's I'm make adjustments to without having to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and where, where did you commit at a high school? I'm sorry. Uh, Auburn. You I was yeah. Auburn. I was signed to go to Auburn. Okay. All right. Thank you. Just You're double checking. Right. We need to keep track of all our SEC guys. Yeah. Okay. We'll go back to Jeff Wilson. Take a few, a couple more. <laughs> Getting back to the ballpark. Um, you know, obviously, the advantage, everybody says the advantage of Texas is that um, there's air conditioning, so it's not going to be 2,000 degrees <laughs> in the summer. But I've always thought that the biggest advantage for the player and a roof is knowing that you're going to play that day, and you kind of mentioned it. So just how big of a difference is that going to be, especially coming from where it, in Denver where it can snow or it can hail or it can rain and, yeah. and you know, the drop of the hat? Yeah, that's definitely going to be – to be nice you know you can prepare the same every day you don't have to worry about any delays you know it it did happen a lot in Denver where it looked perfect all day you start getting ready you go out for stretch and then it just starts you know hailing and you get a two-hour delay so I think that's going to be nice on the body just kind of knowing every day when you're playing when to get prepared 